Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Milwaukee Brewers. Shabby alongside Chris Singleton and a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide the series, Boo. When it's five games, getting a 2-0 lead is a dominant position to be in, and I don't see this series getting to a fifth game if we have a repeat of game one's outcome in this one. Yeah, the Crows start circling for a team that falls into a two-game deficit, not where you want to be. First pitch coming your way next. You still about to get started here. Today's starting pitcher, Brandon Woodruff. Chris, how about a scouting report? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just Leading able to get one or two over in the strike zone the where he wants? Field. Now, it's tough to Number do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Brandon Jordan stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Okay. 7 0 -5. Oh, one down. And there's the ball. Ball to strike. Rips one to right. And it goes just foul. The one, two. On the ground. Tosses across the first. One up, one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. That one, one not close, and it's one and one. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. No score just getting started, top of the first. Swing and a base hit. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the that line. Nice job of the staying right in his mechanics. Right. Harper. One down. Here's Bryce Harper. And the first offering is not close. There's a strike. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Segura stands at first with one out. And down on strikes. That's the second out. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward break at the very end. It just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. And at first, 
Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Here comes a pitch. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Gonna count on it too. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Ground ball right side. He takes it on his own, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia, and now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. Back after this on the show. And starting in this one, Zach Wheeler. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. We go to the bottom of the first. Colton Wong up to him. Leading off for the Brewers. The second baseman. And the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Pitch. Fall off foul. And the 0-2. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Schwarber moving under it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. That second. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, in the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Next one is off the play. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. And a pitch. Called strike right there. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Now two out. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a ball, ball or anything. I no just think field. he was flat out frozen. Rich, yeah. Did not expect that location, Yellow. in my opinion. Now it's Christian Yelich. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Real Muto makes the catch, and that'll do it. We move to the second in Milwaukee. No score. Second inning set to go. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what. His teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. 
That one drifts inside. Oh, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. The next offering misses. And it's 3-0. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. The punch out there and quickly one away in the second. Here's Chris Bryant now. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Righty delivers. That's a ball. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. Second inning here, no score. Next offering in the dirt, two and two. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. First offering misses the mark. And the righty deals. There's the strike. Righty to the plate. Falling behind two and one. Next offering is outside. No score here in the second. And now a full count. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. 3-2. Down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. Billy's good out quietly in the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Milwaukee, bottom half of inning number two, and now the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. The right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Wheeler back to work. That one missed. inside and here it comes and there's a foul ball this one popped up foul ground first base side and he can't make the play Two two now. We got a full count. Three two. And there's ball four. 
Man, that's a tough one to take on the fourth count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Not sure. Willie Adamas stands in. Adamas. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. And that's a strike. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Oh. That's down and in. I got to count one and two. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses oh, there, good. and it's two and two. And that skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. And that should be extra bases. Renfro doesn't stop. Heads for home. Story with a relay home in there. He scores. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Omar Narvaez at the plate. That is good. The catcher. Omar Narvaez. And a foul ball. Adamas stands at second with no outs. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. Runner leads away at second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And that one gets away at the plate. And the runner holds. And the 2-2. And now the count filled up three and two. No outs. Runner on second. Wing and a ball popped up. And base hit. Adamas coming home. Throw is offline and he scores. It's 2 0. Back to back base hits. Kind of your classic jam shot looper right there. Paid a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Batting seven. The first baseman, Rowdy. First well, offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Hard hit, left side. Sneaks through, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Game. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team with that right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. 
Keston here up to hit now. In there, and it's on one. Right-hander deals. Nope. And a good eye there. One ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that misses Whoa, that off the outside down. edge. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. First and second here, no outs. And it's even up. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Brewers. The center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two on, one out. That's in there. Strike one. We got a ball, one strike. Just oh, missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Strike two. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. And he deals. Not close with that one. And that's ball three. Runners at first and second with one gone. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Hoskins makes the catch. And there's two down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable now that he missed it right there. I'm telling man. you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. So the lineup flips over. Next for Milwaukee, Colton Wong. in there for strike one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Oh, and two now. Good eye right there. Left-hand hitter waits. He swings and fouls one off. First and second, two down. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. 
two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We play two full. It's the Brewers two and the Phillies nothing. Out of the third inning, here's Trevor Story. Well, after putting up a nice the inning on shot. offense, got some runs Trevor. across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Woodruff back to work. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Next pitch misses, and it's 2 0. Righty delivers. And that's in for a strike. If you're not ready for that pitch, you're just going to swing and miss or pop it up, waste the at bat. You're going to let it go. You better be ready to swing it. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner. With the two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. JT Real Muto watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. The 2 And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. So right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you come in all of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And the batter now, Brandon Jordan. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball. The 1-1. One -one. Just off the outside part of the plate. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. A little bloop single. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Woodrow keeping an eye on him. Back over to first, and he's back in that time as well. Gene Segura at the plate here. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Jordan off of first with two away. Woodruff throws to first, and he's back in there.
Tying run at the plate. Runner on the go. In the dirt. Blocked by the catcher. And he steals second base without a throw. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And on second, two down. And fouled off. Here's the 2-2. That's the third. Urias picks it up. Gathers and throws the first. And that's the third out. Philly strand one. They trail it here, 2-0. Here at the ballpark, here's Luis Arias. Moving up for the Brewers, the third baseman, Luis Arias. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, there were a lot of pitches. Wind of the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. And the pitch. One ball. Two strikes. Foul ball there. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Next one misses. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One away. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Well, Looks like a fastball by high. You've got to protect Rip the zone, yes. and then it's just that late break that yeah, fools you. Kind of makes you look silly. And here is Christian Yelich. He popped out to the catcher his first job on. In the air, out towards right center. Jordan on the move to the gap. Calls it in to a Now batting, right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Here's a big power threat, Hunter Renfro. He walked and came around to score his first time up. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Why to kick the pitch? And a count one and two. And a ball Good evens the count. Two two now. Good eye in that spot. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that's ball, ball four. four. 
And he reluctantly takes his walk. And the batter will be the shortstop. Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. There it was, a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And here it comes. And now the count is even. Zone and a called strike. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Adamas down on strikes. Milwaukee leaves one as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. American Family Field. Bryce Harper to the plate. Leading off for the Phillies. The right fielder, number three. Bryce Harper. And the right hater back to work. Nope. Off the mark there. Ball one. Nope. one and oh. The pitch. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. Left hand batter waits. That one missed. Now three and oh. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And now three and a walk. pitch late on that fastball love to see it power versus power right there the pitch got him swinging now one away just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one. Oh, fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Grounded out his first time up. First offering, misses the mark. Good eye right there. That one ripped. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Kyle Schwarber goes deep, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ball. You want to bottle that type of approach. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. Two balls, no strikes to count. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. The 2-0 is in for a strike. 
and a righty deals. That one fouled off, two and two. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And makes the grab. That's out number two. Now batting. Third baseman, Chris Bryant. Two outs, base is empty. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Caught looking his first time up. First pitch, and he just misses. And he deals. So two balls and no strikes. The pitch. That one spoiled, and count now two and one. Another ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Rip to third and caught. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. And welcome back. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Omar Narvaez, the catcher. Omar Narvaez. The wine and the pitch. That misses the zone. One and oh. And a pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Sends it to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball now out of the air. First Let's base. the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Rowdy Tillet. pitch and that's in for a strike ball and one. ball one. One, one and that one is lifted in the air Jordan brings it in and a couple of quick outs. Now back the designated hitter, Chester. Yes, here up now for the Brewers. Struck out swinging his first time. First pitch just misses. Towards third. Bryant throw to first in time. And that is the inning. We played four. It's the Brewers two and the Phillies one. Welcome back. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Leading off for Philadelphia. 
the first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. The right-hander back to work. And a swing and a miss. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. And the right-hander deals. Here's a high chopper. Wong picks it up over to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now batting. Shortstop. Trevor Story. So up next, Trevor Story. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In there for strike one. All one's the count. One down, Phillies down a run. That's a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Just blown away in that at bat. Now, Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you could take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And the 1 0. Out front with the swing, and that is strike one. Two outs. That one missing inside. Right hander kicks deals. Lifted in the air, right center field. Renfro settles underneath it, and he makes the catch. And the inning is over. Phillies down in order, and our score remains 2 1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. For the Brewers, the center fielder, the pitch. Tyrone Taylor. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Just missed. Two zero. -oh. And a strike in there. The two one. Foul ball. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Kicks and deals. And there's a ball. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very good. Colton up now for the Brewers. there and it's on one all one there
next offering is in for a strike. Taylor gets his lead at first with nobody out. That's hard hit in the line. Parker makes the catch. One away. Up next to Milwaukee. The third baseman. Now the number two Ooh. hitter, Luis Urias. Ooh, First pitch doesn't find the zone. a bullet but it goes foul here's a 1-1 just missed Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Wheeler with a throw over. Hey. Back in there standing. And yeah, the right-hander's 3-1. Liner, face hit. Taylor rounds third, headed for the plate. Segura with a relay throw. He beats it safe. It's 3-1. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. The manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And it's second with one away. Christian Yelich. Up now for the Brewers. The left fielder, Christian now this one's crushed down the line. Looking foul ball. Got a little anxious on that changeup right there. It tells you he's ready to hit a fastball. If he can let that thing get deeper as he recognizes it out of the hand, tell you what, he could be circling the bases. Going two now. Now one miss. One and two. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Zach Eflin preparing to come on if needed. Gibson warming up as well. Righty to the plate. And it's down away. One and two here. Three. Right through there. Got him. Yeah, there's two away. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two now strikes. Man. Just right put the field. ball in place somewhere, Hunter. and you got a chance. Run Very throw. frustrating for him, I'm sure. Let's see if the next guy can pick him up. Now it's Hunter Renfro. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Rudder at second, two down. Towards right center field. 
Harper racing over to make the catch. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. New inning getting started. So digging in now for Philadelphia. Brandon Jordan. Brandon. Woodger back to work. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Way back there. And that one is gone over the right field wall. So he blasts one out the other way. And they slice into the lead. It's 3-2. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate and added back. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to follow that type of approach. And digging in for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. Second base. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. But he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. But the big bat's coming up, and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. That one pushed foul. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Here comes a pitch. Swing at a ball popped up. Wong pulls that one down, and there's one away. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. And now here is Harper, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering, and it just misses. What is upstairs? Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Swing and a ball popped up. Urias on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batter, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Righty delivers. Next offering misses down and away. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Now Drove that ball nicely. He put a great swing on it and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there and he's rewarded with the double. Next to hit, Nick Castellanos. And that's in there for strike one. I 
Here's a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Here comes Schwarber around third. He scores to tie it up. It's three all. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm now front back. side. And the hands just Good. continue to carry Good. through the middle of the field. Two outs, runner at first. Now the third baseman, Chris Bryant. In there for strike one. Here's a one one. And this is inside. Line drive caught. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do a all tied up and three apiece. Well, we go bottom six. Up now for Milwaukee, Willie Adams. For the Brewers, not shortstop. Well, just about to Willie. hit that century mark. 100 pitches in this game. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. Schwarber makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now batting. Catcher. Omar. And now the catcher comes up to him. Omar Narvaez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Sam Kunra, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Brogdon getting loose as well. And a pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Nice job of driving that pitch the, the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So digging in, Rowdy Telez, one for two. First offering, misses the mark. And the pitch. On the ground, a second might be two. Off balance feet, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. The bat. Tough play right there. The Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Here's Keston Hira. there and it's 0-1. One. One Good eye right there. Telez, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. The next pitch misses. And the count is even. Two and two.
stays alive. And here it comes. And now the count filled up three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Brewer strand one, still tied, three and three. Now on the bump, Justin Tilpa. And this guy could bring it velocity-wise. Number 56. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. The pitch. Just missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. On the ground to the left. Oh, great stop. Fires to first, and they get the out. Now batting. The group Trevor Story comes up to the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Aaron Ashby, the left-hander, up and throwing. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. That one drifts inside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Right-handed reliever. Bounced up the middle. And Story is out. Up next for Philadelphia, the catcher, JT Realmuto. JT Real Muto steps in. Out to short and a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap the and give the Phillies the lead. Brandon. Jordan. And here's the Phillies leadoff man, Brandon Jordan. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. That one misses. And one and one. And a pitch. That one the other way. Redfro makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia. The score remains tied at three. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Sam Kunra. Number 54, Sam Kunra.
back here at American Family Field. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. The, Brewers, the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. The center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. The 1 1. To the right side, Segura collects, tosses to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now that second baseman. Back to the top of the lineup. Next for the Brewers, Colton Wong for the fourth time tonight. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. It's a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Next offering is way upstairs. A little out front there as he swings through it. The next offering misses. Full count, three and two. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Towards first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now batting, third baseman. Luis Urias. Here's the third baseman, Luis Urias. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the right hander deals. Swing and a pop up. He's got it, and that will end the inning. Nobody left for Milwaukee, so no change in the score. It's 3-3. Brent Suter gets handed the rock out of the pen. Number 35, Brent Suter. Top of the eight. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. Leading off with the two. The second baseman, Gene Segura. And he deals. To third. Oh, he gloves it. The throw. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Up next to the My the goodness sake. That was a great diving stop. And maybe even a better play. Yeah, this out is all about athleticism. I mean, this guy did a great job knocking it down on the dive, but he doesn't get the out without the cannon of a throw. That was just impressive all around. Here's Harper now. First pitch, just misses. right there when you get to this part of the order yeah there's some pop there but more likely there's some base hits so very important to be patient let the pitcher walk you if he will left-hand hitter waits that one at the knees for a strike back-to-back -back fastballs in that last one called for a strike probably go away but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off
Bounce to the left side. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. And now for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. First pitch, not close. And now the lefty. Bounce to the right side. Adamas collects it. And that is the third out of the inning. Now quickly go the Phillies. Still time, three and three. Here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth, now the left fielder, Christian Yell for the Brewers. The left fielder, Christian Yellich. Right hater back to work. Yellich. Down the middle for a strike, and that's strike one. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Kicks and deals. There's the swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Oh, they got him. And the go-ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. You just can't afford to make these kind of mistakes this late in the ball game. You need to make the offense earn everything down the stretch. And that right there was just a freebie. The next to hit takes outside. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. You can get up in the air and untie this ball game. The pitch. And now two and nothing. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And a pitch. Fouls one off. Two to two. At the belt and fires. That's down and in. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag and get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Got him. One gone to the bottom of the eight. Digging now in, batting. Willie Adams. Really definitely wants to stay out of the double, double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. And that's in there for strike one. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Throw to first. Yelich oh, dives back in. Now the alarm. Yelich goes. Strike in there. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Two outs. Pitch misses. One and two to count. And a ball even to count. Two two. Pulls that one foul. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the pen, Jake Cousins. Now pitching for the Brewers. Number 54, Jake Cousins.
welcome back. And now the DH, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. And a pitch. Check swing, went around. And that is strike one. Right hander kicks deals. Now a one and a one. The pitch. Slider misses outside. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Stays alive. Righty delivers. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. A perfect example right there. Oh, that plate discipline, it pays the off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. No outs, runner at first. Chris Bryant stands in for the Phillies. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's outside. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Right side. Oh, great stop. The throw. One to second. On to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. First base, 17, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins digs in now. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swings through that. Next pitch misses, and the count one and two. That one ran inside, almost got him. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That misses, and the count's full. On the ground, two ball. Off balance feed, there's one. On to Telez, and the double play ends the end. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh now, arm to start the, the bottom of the ninth. Bailey Fulton. Seventy. Bailey Fulton. Here's the Brewers catcher now, Omar Narvaez. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Here comes a pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Corey Knievel appears to be getting loose. 
The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. High in the air, out to right. Harper settles under this one. And a quick out, number one. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially oh, with walk. pitches that they see pretty well. That no, was a good example. Down. You hook an well, outside here. pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Telez up to bat next, lays off for a ball. The wind of the pitch. This is outside, two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Strike two. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Got him. And there's two away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So now a pinch hitter, Andrew McCutcheon, looking for a two-out spark with the bases empty. Andrew McCutcheon. there for strike one trying to keep good speed off the bases next oh, one is off the plate and the count is one and one two down nobody on and now two and one And the pitch. And one fouled off, two and two. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Story sends it over to first. And that is the inning. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner. So we are off to extra innings. All tied up and three apiece. And welcome back. Here's Trevor Story now. Now this guy, a player that if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base pads. Cousins back to work. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. And the righty deals. Ah. One one. That's off the mark, and the count 2-1. Chance handled in plenty of time for first, and that is a big first out. Now that Pepper, JT, Real Muto. And now it is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. In the air, right field, Renfro on the move as he glides back. Makes the grab for the second half. Up next to Philadelphia, the center fielder, Brandon. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. Next pitch downstairs. 
Ball one. Next offering misses. Two and oh. Two oh count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. And he deals. Fouled off left side. All tied up here in extra innings. Two one pitches in there. The count is even. Now we'll miss. Right-handed reliever. Just a slow ground ball this time. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. The throw to second. To second, and he's safe. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes the on him, and sometimes that's all you second need to do. Just let the ball travel, mm -hmm. put the ball in the play, and just mm -hmm. hope it finds a hole. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Out to short, Adamas handles. Rolls across the diamond, Segura out the play. Third out, Phillies strand one, score remains tied at three. Here in Milwaukee, we're at extras here. Up now for Milwaukee, for the Tyrone Taylor. Taylor, the center fielder. Tyrone Taylor, and a pitch. And there's a the ball. The wind and a pitch. Swing and a miss. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Ripped on a line. And it drops foul into the corner. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Now he breaks his back. Hoskins makes the play. And there's one away. Now batting. The second baseman. Colton. Here's the second baseman. Colton Wong. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. Pitch. Check swing didn't go. One and one. Really good check swing right there. So difficult to hold off on the slider from the same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. All tied up here in extra innings. Fouls one off, two and two. This one in the air center field. Jordan has this one sized up. Squeezes it. Two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Louis. 
Luis Urias up now for the Brewers. And first offering is fouled off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Yo one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And now the lefty. This one popped up. Segura makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. And there's a new arm on the mound, Aaron Ashby. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Ashby. Back here at American Family Field. Now it's the right fielder, Bryce Harper. For Philadelphia. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. There's the strike. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. And the 0 1. 0 2 Cal. Both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed or run. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and one away. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. He's already home in this game. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. The line to kick the pitch. And it's one and one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. The next pitch misses. Two and one. All tied up. We are in the 11. That one in for a strike. Two and two. The line of the pitch. Got it. Back to back strikeouts. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of the relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's imperative yeah. runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, I'll tell you what, that's huge if you change the ball game. So two down now, and here is Nick Castellanos. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. That one down the line. Oh, nice play. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. New arm out of the bullpen, Connor Brown. Now pitching for the Phillies, number 75, Connor Brogdon. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Christian Yelich. In a spot like this, are you up there thinking to yourself, I'm trying to end the game? Absolutely. It's been a long one. You're hungry. Are you ready to go home? And a pitch. And that one a little bit high. And here it comes. That 
one pulled foul. So now one and two. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now it's Hunter Renfro. The right fielder. Number yeah, 20. Swings a lot easier Hunter. than getting two or three hits. Renfro. But win this ball game, you better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And the right hater deals. Slapped foul. Fly ball to him. Harper settles under it. And that quickly two away. Now battle. A shortstop, Willie Adamas. So up next, Willie Adamas. First offering, misses the ball. At the belt, and finals. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two outs. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Next offering clips the zone. Count even a two. Right-hander kicks deals. Stays alive. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Next off for next day. But that's foul down the third baseline. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Rolled over to third. Fires over to Hoskins. And that is that. Brewers go down quietly. Still tied. Three and three. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Chris Bryant. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. Ashby back to work. Pitch misses outside. One and over. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, third base side. pitch and that's outside the big lefty turns kicks deals I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit he wants to be challenged There's a foul ball. And so the lefty 
allows the leadoff free pass. Exactly what they needed him to deliver there, a quality at bat. Now the pressure's on to find a way to get him home. Go ahead, run on base. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. And the first offering is not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the wall. Next pitch, not even close. Runner at first with no outs here. Next pitch misses outside. Ball two. And he deals. That clips a corner. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And it's even up. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And a swing of the miss. And now one away. So digging in, Trevor Storm. This is what staff nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. In there, and it's on one. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation run on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And if you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Now it's even up. And a pitch. And it is two to one. And a pitch. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And now the lefty. And now it's filled up. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Three from the lefty. Two out. Not afraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your skull. Just one out away from that. getting out of a huge jam. Here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. And that's in there for strike one. That missed inside. Now two balls and a strike. Bryant off of first with two away. Next off, he's in for a strike. That slider breaking in could be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. In the dirt, but kept close. Safe, he beats it. Picks himself up at RBI. Pitch was in and off the, the plate. Field. So hard to do anything with the pitch Brand in that location, but Your somehow man. he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. 
So the batting order turns over. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Checks over to first. Back safely. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Wow. Racing over to make the catch. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Yuri Knievel will take over here, trying to protect this lead. Number 48, Corey Knievel. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now, Omar Narvaez. Leading off for the Brewers. These home the fans. They are making a lot of noise. Putting North. pressure oh, yeah. on that pitcher out there. Here comes the pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. On the ground, right side. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got now the swing batting. and miss, First and baseman. I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief here. after seeing that one go now through the zone. Rowdy Telez up now for the Brewers. Fought off foul. Home team down a run. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. The next offering misses. And now it's even one and one. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Two now. Hit on the ground to the right side. Knocks it down, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Now back the designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. He's over one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. On one. The tying run at the plate. Yeah, that skips into there. pitch see the velocity 97 with that fastball
And a 3-1 on the way. That one fouled off. A one-run lead here in extra innings. Two down, nobody on. High fly ball out to center field. Jordan coming on. And he's got a ball game. And the Phillies, even this series, up in a game apiece. Well, one of the goals in the postseason is to split on the road and play very well at home. They did just that with the win today, even it up at 1-1. One and one. So it took extras, but here's how the numbers shake out from this one. Well, they couldn't settle this one in nine, but who doesn't love some extra any baseball in the postseason? And the 